All right, so uh, second tutorial is how to install tracks. Same concept, we're gonna go to Google, either type in what specific map you want, if they have it for a set of Corsa, uh, or you can just go out and type in a set of Corsa mods and uh, be brought to three websites that have most of the mods you're gonna find for a set of Corsa. So we'll just go ahead and click on the top one. And then go ahead and find the button that says tracks. And then just go ahead and download any track you want, really. There's so many maps to pick from. I'm just going to go ahead and download Pike's Peak Hill Climb. This, is, this, one, this map or this website specific is really easy. When you click on it, right down here it says the download button. Click that and it'll just bring you to Google Drive. Every download is Google Drive on here. So just go ahead and download it. There was a problem. With the preview? What does that even mean? Uh, but right here, here's a download. It says Google Drive cannot scan this file for viruses. There's no viruses, just go ahead and click download. Yeah, I hate those tutorials where they're trying to teach you how to download mods and it's like all these sketchy yeah. websites like where you have to answer questions and do passwords and all this other bullshit. So we're just gonna go ahead and that download. As you can see right there in the bottom left corner, it's downloading. What are you doing? Chilling. Might go gas. Yeah, I can download it. So when that's downloaded, you can go ahead and exit out of the browser. Again, I'll, I'll go slower this time. You want to go to computer, local hard drive, program files 86. Then from there, you're going to go ahead and go to Steam, Steam apps, common, set of course out, and then do contact. And then whether you're installing a car or a track, go ahead and pick track or car. So in this case, we're gonna pick track. And then you go to your downloaded file. Do you remember what map it was? Pikes Peak Hill Climb. There it is right here. Open that. And then yet again, just, like, see, this is a good example. See, when you download it, Sometimes it like it doesn't just come with a track. It actually has a folder that you have to go into that has a track into it. Go back. So if you drag this whole entire folder in there, it's gonna mess it up because it's not gonna read it. It's gonna read this folder instead. So open that up. So go ahead and open that up, and then just drag the actual Pikes Peak file file into the tracks. Track. And then you're set. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, drop a comment. We'll get back to you. Pretty straightforward though. Yeah. Simple click and drag. I already downloaded most of the drift map, so. And if you had a set of course to open and you download a, a car or a map and uh, you want to put it in, make sure you close the set of course. Uh, because you'll put it in, but it won't read it because it has to update. So it's just easier to close it and then put it in and reopen it. Drive, practice, select track. Pike's Peak. There it is right there. Pike's Peak Hill Climb, Asphalt, Gravel, and this is a beta, so. It might be a little glitchy. We'll give it a quick go. Uh, change cards really quick. And uh, there you guys have it. We're on Pike's Peak. And you can go ahead and uh, rip your track. There you guys have it. That's how you install the track mods onto a set of Corsa. So now that you know how to install the cars and the tracks, you literally can have unlimited fun now because there's so many tracks, so many cars. Um, this map definitely and works. Off the cliff. So there you guys have it. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment.
We'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.